Blog Like an Expert Part 2. How to promote your WordPress blog so the world takes notice. Uh, but before you even start this video, be sure you have read Part 1 because that's the part that tells you how to write the blog. It has to be written properly before it can be promoted properly. So let's move on from there. Here is the URL for Part 1, Blog Like an Expert, HTTP, colon, double slash, tales to inspire dot com, forward slash, effective, dash, WordPress, dash, blogging. And uh, be sure to read that one first. Uh, once again, I have to credit social media specialist Don McCauley for all the help that he has given me along the way, including press releases and much well-valued advice. First, I'm going to take you right into my website, Tales to Inspire, where we have stories by award-winning authors from across the globe. Now notice up at the top, you'll see in black, small letters, some words, including the word blog. That's the one that we're going to concentrate on today. Just imagine a baby born without legs who grows up into this beautiful woman who becomes a world-class aerialist. I have to admit, I wrote this story myself because I couldn't resist. I had a number of conversations, phone conversations, with Jen, who lives across the country from me, and uh, she gave me permission to write the story, but then she asked me for a special favor to please not promote it until her own book came out. Now, if you look at the blog, you'll see that I honored her request and not only honored it, but put in the title of her book as well. And this is just good ethics, folks, and something that all of us should be mindful of. Now, notice at the end of the blog, I put in a picture of the uh, cover of the book that the story is published in. And then if you look down at the bottom, you'll see where it says click here for more information. I link right to the Amazon page. Hopefully, I'm thinking somebody might be interested and uh, want to purchase that book. At the end of each one of my blogs, I include this particular frame. Um, it's a free offer to get a Tales to Inspire book. It's a sampler, so you get one story from each of the uh, six Tales to Inspire books, and um, it's just a nice way to entice your, your uh, readers, uh, introduce them to the Tales to Inspire series, and uh, if they like it, maybe they will go on and purchase some of the books. Uh, you might find a way to incorporate something like this in your blog as well. This next blog is one that I wrote about a story called As I Am by Dr. Karen Perneau. Well, Dr. Perneau and I uh, worked on a press release together. Notice in the dark purple, brownish color, congratulations to Dr. Karen Perneau, who was featured in a CNN Eye report. And then there's a click with a link that goes right to that report so that people can see it. So anything that you can find that you can link to is extra special for a blog. So think in terms of what can I link to that will make my blog more interesting. Uh, notice at the end again, I put in the cover of the book that this particular story is published in, As I Am, is now published in Tales to Inspire, the Topaz Collection. And if we went down a little bit further, it would be, again, a link to the Amazon page. This next blog is about the story, A Birthday Gift for Mom by T.H. Everingham. This is a very tender memory piece, a lovely, lovely piece about a little boy who sacrifices something to get his mom a special birthday gift, which is a fancy bar of soap. Now, obviously, Tom no longer had that bar of soap to send me a picture, but I wanted to stress the importance of including images. Just do a Google search, that's what I did here, to find a fancy bar of soap to include with the story. And you see how it makes the story pop. 
And at the end of that blog posting, again, I have the title of the story, the title of the book, Tales to Inspire, the Sapphire Collection, in which it is published. And these are all stories that echo in the mind. And of course, this one echoed so nicely in Tom's mind. At the very bottom, it's kind of cut off, but it says, Buy Now. I'm a little bit more direct there, again, with a link to the Amazon page. This next blog posting is the story When Compassion Replaces Fear by another wonderful author, Maria Jordan. Um, and again, you can see that it's published this one in the Ruby Collection and with that Buy Now link at the bottom. But I'm including this blog for another reason, because I've included video with it and I wanted to show you how that can be done. Now here's that uh, lovely picture of Maria. Um, it looks like a video there because of the black arrow, but actually it's only a screenshot taken from my YouTube channel. You can get a YouTube channel also and post videos and it's free. Uh, what I did here was simply give viewers the link to go to it and watch it. Now I'm going to show you a more sophisticated, more seamless way to do it, and it isn't really hard at all. Now, notice where it says Meet Maria and watch her story in the video below, and there's a red arrow in the middle of the picture. Now watch what happens next. Here's the beginning of the video that's been embedded right into the blog. Oh, very nice, Maria. 220 views. That's pretty good. Uh, but if you look uh, down below my name and the, the bar that says subscribe, you'll see the word share. That's what you're going to click on first. Then I'm going to show you what happens next. If you just click on share, what you're going to get is the link uh, to take you to that video. But if you click on the word embed, which you saw underlined in red, you're going to get the actual code that you can put into your blog. And isn't that a wonderful technique? For the Crystal Collection, Stories That Tickle the Funny Bone, I didn't have, well, they're shorter stories, so I didn't feel like I had enough material to make one video for um, each story, but I did do it by chapters. There's one chapter that's called Looking Back with Laughter, situations that, uh, oh, didn't seem so funny at the time, but in retrospect, the author found them quite funny. And I put them together into one video. So now I'll share those three with you, and you can see um, that might be a technique that you might use as well. The first of these stories, uh, Hitchcock's Train by Frank Ionella, is about Frank as a young man when, first of all, he was fascinated with all the mysteries of Alfred Hitchcock movies, and second of all, he was sure that he could create an adventure for himself if only he went on an overnight uh, express and um, the embarrassing yet very humorous things that happened to him along that trip. The second one, Learning to Sail by Gerald Walford, again as a young man, and quite a brash young man at that, uh, he figured he read a little article on sailing so he could surely take out a sailboat, no problem. In the meantime, he almost ran right into um, ocean liner, or I should say the ocean liner almost ran into him, and lost a girlfriend and a sailing buddy in the interim. Another very humorous story. And the third story in that chapter, Looking Back with Laughter, is uh, titled A Roof Over My Head by Alastair Henry. Um, when he went to volunteer in the Northwest Territory of Canada and got, well, I should say a lot less than he bargained for. He got a roof over his head finally, but uh, very little more. Now that honey bucket picture should give you a clue. Now, because I made one video for all three of those stories, I had to figure out something, and actually it was one of my other authors who taught me how to do this. Notice above the video, it says, Watch this lively video presentation of Alistair's story starting at frame 3.10. Now, I did that marking the frames for each of the three stories 
differently. So I could embed the same video in each of their blogs and direct people to the exact spot where they could watch about that one story. You could really do the same thing with your video if you have separate segments that are somewhat related. Put them together and direct people to the specific spot, the specific frames where that portion is um, shown. You've most likely noticed those social media buttons beneath each blog and uh, it's important to use them, those that you're active in, Facebook, Twitter, your LinkedIn. Then there's a white envelope and uh, that's one if you want to email somebody in particular to have them take notice of it, you can use that white envelope and put in their email address and they'll get it. And here's the story that just went up on Facebook. Uh, it's Samson and Delilah, written by Dale Finn. And it's just a most charming, delightful, true story, the inspiring story of the friendship between a white goose and a tan lab. Uh, and I thought you'd like to see how that appears on Facebook. And uh, this is a story that is now published in the Garnet Collection, Stories in Feathers and Fur. As soon as I post a blog, I let the author of that particular story know that it's been posted, and um, there's a sample of a letter that I send them with some suggestions of things that they can do to help self-promote. Uh, you could take some of those ideas and promote for yourself as well. Now, if you're ready to get really sophisticated, you can create some CSV files for yourself. Uh, there's a sample that you can look at. The first column is the date and the time. I try to schedule two a day, one in the morning, one in the evening. And um, a very brief little statement that you want to put up about the particular blog and the URL that it goes in. So um, you can schedule those if you use a service like the one I use is Hootsuite. Don McCauley uses Mass Planner and seems to like that one too. But uh, you can schedule them. They pop up after you've selected the time and the date. Uh, they pop up uh, automatically in the social media that you've selected. Now to summarize this video, let's go quickly. Be ethical, be respectful of others who might be mentioned in your blogs, honor your promises, give credit where credit is due. Second, use links if you can. Include a relevant link to the content of your blog, but only if it adds to your content. Three, include an image. Uh, find an image that pops and it will make your blog stand out from the crowd. Four, Offer a gift. Everyone loves something for free. Try to offer a gift that helps promote your product or service. Five, supplement with video. Of course, that's an option. But if you do make a video, include it on your blog. You can just post the URL to the video with or without a screenshot, or you can get embedded code and insert it into your blog. And remember, if you don't have enough material for one subject in your video, think of ways to combine several related uh, topics. Uh, it's great to use samples that inform people of your product or service at the same time. Post on social media. Use the social media buttons to let others know about your blog. And, of course, if you're really getting into this and want to expand your reach further, consider using a service such as Hootsuite or Mass Planner. Finally, when you're blogging, know the difference between informing people and self-promotion. This is Lois W. Stern from Tales to Inspire, signing off now, helping you to blog like an expert.